News at 5.30 starts now. It's been almost six months since the start of the war in Gaza. Thousands of miles away, Jewish students at the University of Vermont say they experience anti-Semitism daily on the campus. Thank you for joining us at 5.30. I'm Darren Perrin. And I'm Kiana Burks. Our Laura Ullman investigates to what extent these incidents are causing harm and how one Muslim student says his community has changed. <laughs> On October 7th, I lost a friend and I assumed that people would be understanding and people would be in solidarity with us, and then it wound up being the opposite. Hallie Sissenwine mourned the loss of her friend at a vigil on October 12th. During the ceremony, she says passerbys yelled expletives at her. Ever since then, I experienced some form of anti-Semitism or Israel hate at least once a day. A recent Harvard Harris poll found that American adults ages 18 to 24 were split on whether they stand with Israel or Hamas, and that two thirds of that age group viewed Jews as an oppressive class. I think that a lot of people had anti Semitic undertones, and now they have a reason to publicly share them. Sissenwine pointed to a swastika she saw drawn in the snow on campus. She sent photos of posters of hostages torn down and anti Israel graffiti. What I've continued to hear is that it's free speech, and unless it turns into action, then there's nothing the university can do about that. Sissenwine says she thinks people have a right to critique the Israeli government, but that the overall sentiment surrounding the war and the public actions around it have made her feel isolated at school. She turns to her Jewish friends at Hillel for comfort. Uh, Less than a mile away at UVM's Interfaith Center, one Muslim student also says that the war has brought his community closer together. As frightening as the shooting of three Palestinian students and the war has been to witness, he says UVM and its students have shown Muslim, Middle Eastern and North African students support. You know, Arab students that were not seen before and are getting now that opportunity to come together. Ali Mahmoud, in addition to completing his undergraduate studies, is the program coordinator at UVM's Interfaith Center. While fasting for Ramadan, he's creating spaces for a diverse array of students to meet with faculty, leadership and each other. Once you understand what other people are facing, what fear they have, then only you can build a bridge to create that conversation. Sissenwine says she wants to have these conversations like the one Mahmoud described, but when they start, she feels those who oppose her are often dismissive and unwilling to listen. The federal government investigated anti-Semitism at UVM just last year and found that the administration had mishandled multiple allegations. Sissenwine says because of this, UVM is handling the situation better than other colleges, but she's still still wants admin to speak out more against anti-Semitism. UVM says civil discourse is an integral component of their campus community, and the university does not tolerate hate speech or hate in any form. In the studio, Laura Ullman, Channel 3 News.